Hey, what's up everyone? So uh, today I am uh, borrowing an iPod Touch from a friend. It is a uh, third generation iPod Touch, which uh, if you don't already know, it's technically a second generation. People refer to them as the uh, iPod Touch third generation but MC model because you still have to use second generation update on it. Uh, since it's a, uh, well this one's an 8 gig, so sorry about that, it's actually an 8 gig one. Uh, anyways, uh, what I want to show you is uh, how you can uh, upgrade or downgrade your firmware. Now, uh, I can't show you on here because I've already patched the file, but um, pretty much uh, if I try to, if I didn't do any uh, patches or anything on here, uh, if I tried to update this uh, iPod, it's on 3.1.2. If I tried to update it to 4.0, it would not allow me. And uh, I got the uh, update, you know, from that from the website everyone gets them from just uh I'll show you oh it's not on there I was just refreshing myself on that but I'll uh, anyways I'll just put it in the link uh but point is uh what you're going to have to do I'm just going to show you real quick so you want to go to this location it's at least on windows it's C windows system 32 drivers etc and there's the host file now you're going to want to take that host file and as you can see I've modified mine uh, take the host file, put it on your desktop, and then open it up in Notepad or a similar program. Here's the host file at the bottom. You're going to want to enter that, just at the very bottom of it. Oh, and my focus is getting all messed up. Anyways, I'll uh, write that down too. Well, I'll type it up. So then all you have to do, you just take the host file, copy it back into that location, replace it and then you should be good to go. Now uh, I will show you how to actually upgrade or downgrade your firmware. Uh, this, this is going to be an upgrade but it I mean you can downgrade at the same time doing the same thing. So first what you want to do is want to go over to your iPod. Uh, there are slight, I mean it's essentially the same thing but I've done iPods and iPhones. There are differences. iPhones are a bit harder to do. Not too hard but it's just you have to kick it out of recovery mode. Uh, there's also, I mean, you can look up a program for that too. Anyways, um, I borrowed this from a friend. I uh, completely uh, just wiped it clean. There's nothing on here at all. Like I said, it's on 3.1.2. And from here, you want to do Shift and Restore. And you're going to want to uh, download the firmware for your device from the website that I'm going to show. Well, not that I'm going to show, but that I included. I have it on here and now it's just going to say restore it's going to start extracting your software and then uh, your iPod is going to start doing some crazy things so this is going to be one of the things you're going to have to go through uh, my iPod uh, just reset and uh, the progress bar is uh, going to be going uh, this one's going to take some time just because it's an 8 gig well yeah it's an 8 gig but um what is it? Yeah, it's going to have to uh, extract the software, then uh, just put it on and everything. So, yeah, it's going to reset probably one or two times. Best thing to do is just to leave it alone. And then, I mean, it should be done. Okay, anyways, uh, after another reset, we have just finished the update. As you can see, it is at software version 4.0. And uh, I'll even show you on here. General about. And as you can see, 4.0 with nothing on it right now. So, yeah, I mean, that should be it. Anyways, uh, if you have any problems, just uh, message me, leave a comment or something. Uh, probably better to leave a comment just because if I can't, um, if I like, you know, if I don't have time to message you or if I can't, maybe somebody else who has had the same issue as you can help you out. So, yeah, anyways, um, thanks for watching. And uh, next video coming up, I'm going to be jailbreaking this thing.